Okay. Let's go on the internet and research some cool and complicated technology. Oh come on. Are you serious? Another one of these pop-up ads. According to my calculations, this is the 999,999 pop-up ad I have seen this week. Hey! Wait a second. This one looks like it could be interesting. It's an ad for SeaWorld. A place we have never been to before. I think I will show this to Brad. Oh! So it looks like you're doing your cliché thing. Sitting on the sofa. Watching TV. Oh shut up Nickel. It's not even my fault I'm doing this. Really? How? Well, it's because YouTube is the one who controls my actions. Hey, remember the rule. Absolutely no fourth wall breaks. Yeah, yeah, I know. But Nickel asked me a question that forced me to break the fourth wall. Anyway, Nickel, what is it that you want? What did you come to me for? I'll show you. Follow me. Okay, I guess. See? It's an ad for SeaWorld. I was thinking maybe us and the rest of the gang could go. We are not going to SeaWorld. But why not? You've approved for us to go to many other places. Why not SeaWorld? Because every single time we go somewhere with the intentions of having a good time, it goes wrong. Usually it's because you're a Christian and Carlos spend outrageous amounts of money. But Brad, I promise this trip will be different. I will keep it under control. And I won't allow for their spendings to go even a little over your budget. And how in the world are you going to control them? I don't know. But... Look. No matter what happens, we're not going to SeaWorld. OMG. Did I just hear something about SeaWorld? No you did not. Yaresi. Now get out of here. Wait. SeaWorld. Like we heard that place has totally delicious food. Everyone. Get out. Oh, come on, Brad. Just tell us what is really going on here. I could sort of heard the word SeaWorld again in this room. Oh, fine. Nickel showed me an online ad for SeaWorld and said she was thinking of us all going. And then I was telling her how our trips always go wrong. I would like for love to go to SeaWorld. Me too. OMG. I so agree with you, Christian. SeaWorld seems like a totally fun place to visit. Brad. If you do not let us all go to SeaWorld, I will do a burnout with your bus and you will have to pay tons of money for new tires. No, 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 no. Please don't do that. Okay. We can go. Whatever you say. Yay, yay, yay. We are going to SeaWorld. This is going to be Toots Epic. Well, I guess we should get packing. After the gang finished packing. Rest in peace my wallet. Um, Brad, I'm kinda getting bored in here. Could you put on some music or something, but absolutely no death metal. That is my least favorite genre of music. Okay, I'll put on some good music that isn't death metal. Plus, it'll warn the future loss of my money. Oh my god, turn that off right now was so totes loud. Fine Brad. You win. We don't have to listen to music on the way to SeaWorld. No. It's fine. We can still listen to music. For real now. I'll put on a song that I think you'll like. Ugh. Fine. Four annoying and miserable hours later. Oh look. We are here. Yay for you dummies. Oh my god, we finally made it to SeaWorld. Yeah, 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 yeah. OMG, yes. We are finally in the park. I have waited so long for this very moment. What shall we do first? Like I say, we go find some restaurants and try all the delicious food. No. Please. Let's not go to the restaurants. How about we check out some of the rides instead? That sounds like a good idea. Agree. Let's start walking around and see what rods we can find. Wow. This looks like a totes cool ride. It's called Empire of the Penguin. I have never heard of this ride before. But I guess we could try it. Ten minutes later. Oh come on. Why did it stop? 
Attention writers, we are experiencing technical difficulties and are currently working to resolve them. Please remain seated until further notice. Thank you. Well, that's just great. Why me? Go on a mate universe. Why me? Two hours later. Oh. My. Freaking. God. This is absolutely insane. It's been two whole hours. And we are still stuck here. You know what? I've had enough of this crap. I'm going to just run out of the ride myself. Nix. Brad. Are you like sure you should do that? I agree with Christian. Brad. If you do this and get caught. You. And all of us for that matter. Will likely end up in big trouble. And according to my calculations, there is a 99.99 .99 chance that you will get caught. I don't care. Oh. And speaking of all of us, I want you idiots to run out with me. I came here for you guys. You know. But. Do it! Just do it! Well. That really sucked. What should we do next? Like I vote we find a restaurant and enjoy some delicious food. Christian. What did I tell you about the food? Well Brad. I'm kinda getting hungry too. It's around lunchtime anyway. I also think we should go get some food. I could totally order a delicious meal and post a picture of it on Instagram. We. Are. Not. Getting. Food. Oh well gang. That's just bad. Red says no. I guess we'll have to ask him to come back here another time so we can get the chance to try the food. Oh you know what? Fine. We can go get some food. But I want you guys to spend as little money as possible. Hello. And welcome to one of the restaurants of SeaWorld. What can I get for you today? Seriously. This cashier again. I've seen you in like two other restaurants. How many jobs do you have? Hey. That is only because I am a stock character of Gonamut. And I'm the only one that really looks like a cashier. Okay whatever. And wow. I'm kinda surprised that YouTube didn't interrupt the episode by now. I mean. His job is to monitor the video. And stopping a character from breaking the fourth wall. I'm kinda surprised too. But I don't really care that much. Just let me take your order. Well. I didn't even want to come here in the first place. So I don't have an order. Like my order is 5,000 burgers with the side of 999 french fries. I'm sorry. They only actually want one burger with a small side of french fries. And one hot dog. Hey. Brad. Like why did you do that? Because I have to be a freaking millionaire to afford all that food. I don't even think this place has that much food available anyway. I would like a salad and a small water. And I would like a strawberry ice cream. Okay. Your orders will be ready shortly. I'm just glad I don't have to ask for the cook to make thousands of burgers and hot dogs. Because I would probably get fired for that. Okay. Thanks. Later. Wow. We actually didn't spend a million dollars that time. So far. We are doing pretty good money-wise. And I have a pretty good idea on what we can do next. I saw a sign in the restaurant that said one of the last killer whale shows is at 12.30 today. It's now or never to see that show. Now. Like you're right Nickel. This is one of the last times we're going to get to experience it. We should head over now. Looks like the show is about to start. Look. It's starting now. Oh come on! Why did I have to get splashed in the face? Whoa. I'm starting to lose my balance. Oh my god! I'm falling! I am so done with this stupid crap! To my dumb gang! We're leaving this horrible place now. That. Freaking. Sucked. We are never going to see world again. Oh man. Oh Brad. I like really liked it there. I don't care. They really need to do something to keep the water off of the spectators of the show. 
And do you wanna know what I will do to keep the water out? Uh, like I guess so. Okay. The song I am about to put on will describe what I will do if I were dead sea world. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Yoresi. You just startled me and made me drive over a broken road. Now we are going to go flying through the air all the way to our school, where we will crash land. Oh great. Now my TV is destroyed and there are dents in my bus. All because of Yoresi. You know what? I don't even care anymore. I'm going to take my anger out on this school by destroying it with the school bus.